Okay, everyone, I'm super excited to show you today what the final version of the Greek Magical Papyri Tarot looks like in the flesh. I have a, um, a copy of it here. I, before I show you, though, I do want to tell you that um, while I have this sample here, the actual two pallets of <laughs> printed cards are still in the shipping process so i don't have them so don't don't think that like you know, oh i haven't received mine yet because no one has i'm the only person who has this uh, as, as of this moment so um i'm going to go and sh go ahead and show you um the deck i'm going to do a little box opening of it so um this is the way that it comes um it's got a very cool thick box one of the things you're going to notice when you um when you get it in your hands is that it's got uh, quite a heft to it. It's a it's a heavyweight uh, cardstock and everything that it's been made of. The box is extremely thick. I'll show you a little bit when I when I open it up more fully. Um, so wrapped in cellophane here, but okay. So there's some cool imagery from the tarot <laughs> on all sides of the packaging. So that's kind of neat. And then uh, when you open the box, it's got like a really nice. Um, this is actually the, the backs of the cards are, are as, in a, as a design on the box itself. So, um, and, and the box is really thick if you look at it. It's a very, this is a box that, you know, you're going to you know, keep. <laughs> it's not a box you're going to toss away. It's probably going to be where you keep your cards. Um, so when you open it immediately, there is a sort of piece of papyrus that, um, it's a pretty brief summary. It, it gives kind of like keywords for all the cards and it gives the, um, for all the numbered cards that have a talisman associated with them, it gives uh, the reference to the PGM for each one of those, as well as sort of the, uh, some keywords for the, for the cards. Um, it's a pretty simple insert. Um, if you're wanting a more in-depth coverage of, of the, the whole process of creating it, this is the book that many of you um, added on to the thing, and it's, it's a pretty sizable book. <laughs> it's not, uh, it, it grew substantially because of the, um, the the uh, stretch goals of the of the social um, crowdfunding that that went quite a bit better than expected. So um, the the deck is uh, quite thick too. Um, it's not it's not because the cards are super thick or anything. It's they're, they're they are a nice weight of cards, but it's the um, the there's a hundred cards in here because of the stretch goals. So there's a full tarot and then another twenty two additional. Um, major arcana cards this is one of those additional major arcana cards right here right now um it's got just got a little plastic that holds it in place and then here are the cards um i'm super excited for all of you to have this i wish i could tell you that it was going to be um coming i know it's already late and and now it, it seems like it's just stretching on into the future when it will actually be available. Look, the good thing is that it, the project is done. It, it, it's all printed. It's all, um, at least the, um, the, the main cards are, you know, 100% printed and they are, you know, as far as I know, starting their journey toward me. Um, and I'm going to show you something on the globe, but I want to show you a little bit more about my book. Um, so, so the book, um, it kind of has, you know, a few introductory pages just on sort of my process of creating it, but then it, it starts going through the cards and, uh, giving sort of a both a divinatory as well as sort of a philosophical quick peek at the different the different kinds of uh, images and what's going on in the tarot and then um, once you get past all the cards I mean it also it has a section on all the expansion cards too so they're all they all have coverage as well it's a little I did a little bit less um, of, a, of a lengthy sort of write-up on most of the ones in the expansion pack just because um, I was trying to get the projects done and I didn't want to spend, you know, days and days and days working on, um, on that particular thing. Uh, but then from about halfway through the book on, it's all really, um, ritual practices from that point on. There's a consecration ritual for the cards. There's, um, some visionary work with the cards, which is something obviously I, I do a lot of work around that. Um, and then there are um, like a, a sort of slightly modernized spell for <laughs> for all the all the talismans that are in the deck. So, um, and then and obviously at the back there's a um, which was part of one of the stretch goals. There's a, um, a, a a listing of all the different physical items that are mentioned in the entire um, PGM. Um, at least the um, 
the version, the Betts version, uh, because I, I didn't utilize the more recent stuff that has, that has come out in the last few years. So that's, that's what it's going to look like. So <laughs> I'm really excited for you to have it. I know you're going to really enjoy having it. And there's, there, it's, it's, I, I, I couldn't be happier with the way these came out. They really, the cards are beautiful. Um, they're, they're very, they've got a very nice feel to them. And this box is w way better than, than I imagined. Um, so the, w what's going on right now is that I, I, I've, been producing things for um, almost three decades, <laughs> making things for the occult community and, and um, giving them out into the world. But almost always, that process has been a very small amount of things at a time. You know, sometimes one at a time, or sometimes just a few at a time. Um, that I'll get things printed, or I'll, or I'll physically make them myself by hand. Um, this is the first time that I've done what would be like a professional print run where I've done where I've done 2,000 copies of, um, of of the of this project and I just it didn't like I'm a you know I'm an artist and a mystical person <laughs> it didn't, it didn't, I, the the physics of of what 2,000 copies of a fairly substantial and heavy deck of, of cards as well as a uh, you know a, a, a reasonably substantial book um, it's big it, 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 it weighs almost uh, half a ton the stuff that's coming to me, it's two pallets. Um, and so, um, it would cost somewhere in, in the, it would have, co if I had tried to send it by air, it would have cost somewhere around $20,000 to just ship it. Um, so it's coming via, um, a, a, by, by a sea to me from, <laughs> and the, 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 the printer that I chose, first of all, it was recommended by somebody. And so I, you know, I felt confident that they would do a good job because the person just saying their praises over and over again um, but also they were the quickest to get back with me and they were the most sort of proactive in, in discussing the the things that I needed for it for it to come to come to fruition and the, they got me you know uh, digital proofs quickly and then they actually air mailed me some other proofs and then they I, I didn't even know they were gonna do it, but then they sent me the sample of, of how it actually um, looks it you know completed so I mean they, they've been very they've been working with me very um well and um the american printer that i that i um inquired with um would have cost over twice as much to print them and also gave me a really far out tri time frame that i didn't think was going to be the, <laughs> the time frame of of these folks but it turned out to be actually about the same so um that's that's what happened and i also talked to an italian printer and i talked to a couple of other um, chinese printers but this this one seemed like the best and i, uh, I artistically and production wise i definitely feel good about the choice that i made because it's beautiful unfortunately i did not realize that this stuff can take forever and so i i actually i i brought my globe here in front of the computer uh, this, this is a globe I've had since I was probably about 10 years old. Um, it's so old that, in fact, if you look at it, it says the Union of Soviet Socialist uh, Republics instead of uh, Russia and all the other little countries. So it's during the Soviet, <laughs> Soviet era that this, that this globe is from. But I think the continents are basically in the same position as they were at that time period, though it was eons ago. So right now, the PGM Tarot is somewhere around here. And it has to get to here, where I am. So it's a bit of a journey. And as far as I know, probably involves coming through the Panama Canal down here. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, it, it shouldn't be more than about a month, I think. But uh, that's, that's, the, that's w what's going on with it. Um, a lot of the rest of the stuff, um, if you're following my Indiegogo campaign, I already posted a picture yesterday. I've got like a bunch of boxes and, a, and several more in the mail. One might be coming today even. Um, they're, they're huge boxes just filled with like my, uh, the cloths and the, you know, the casting cloths and these, um, these banners and stuff and just hundreds of them <laughs> stacking up into huge files. So, um, the, it's all coming, it's all coming together, and I apologize, I just, it, it never occurred to me that, it, that everything would take so long, and then also, I mean, like, just, it, 
the stretch goals that I created for the campaign, honestly, I was like, these are like fantasies. I don't think this is really going to happen. Because if you look at my, my past campaigns, they've stalled out at around, you know, maybe $12,000 at the most. So I wasn't really totally anticipating that it was we were going to get through all of the stretch goals and I would actually create additional stretch goals beyond them. So, um, you know, it's, this has been a big surprise for me and uh, I'm really happy with how it's coming out. And I know that you guys are going to love it when you when you actually get it in your hands. And as I mentioned on my Indiegogo um, updates, uh, by the way, if you are a contributor and you're not following those updates on Indiegogo, I recommend that you go and follow them because I am, I have, I've put out eight updates so far and there have been a number of people who've written me who are contributors who don't seem to be seeing those. So like, please follow that if you can, because uh, it's the easiest way for me to reach everybody. Although here on Facebook, I'm reaching a slightly different group of people that hopefully will also benefit from the, the, um, the experience of, of watching this right now and seeing this stuff. So, um, the, um, because this is taking so long, I, I decided I wanted to do something that would sort of help keep people engaged in the process of waiting for this to come to fruition. And so I'm going to be doing a series of, um, zoom meetings with, uh, whoever wants to come, um, contributors, uh, first, first dibs, certainly. But, uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to sort of do some readings for people who want readings and just sort of talk about some of the cards and talk about the artistic and the mystical spiritual process of, of putting all of this together and, uh, the, the experiences that I've been having with it along the way and answering any questions that anybody has. Um, and I also would like to, um, offer while doing that to work with people live in that setting. Um, to help them to sort of open up their their visionary channel because it's something that's not all that hard to do and yet i think there are a number of people who i work with over the years who feel like it's hard until i sort of actually walk them through it myself with them so um i'm, I'm happy to do that um, during those sessions as well so it should be fun and interesting and interactive and um you know obviously if you want to be a participant rather than a watcher you'll have to be willing to be you know, viewed by others. But other than that, it should be it should be fun. Um, while I have uh, your attention here, I do want to mention anyone who's been watching this whole thing. Thank you. Um, I do want to mention that uh, I'm going to be starting uh, the se second season of Inside the Magic Circle in the next few weeks or so. I already have a few guests that, that uh, either didn't get to do it last time or that I've talked to since. Um, and hopefully that's going to all commence again pretty soon so there'll be more interviews coming out I actually have one interview that I just I realized that I I recorded and that I never put up so the first episode will be something that is actually from the past because I I have <laughs> an interview sitting in in the files that I that I just sort of you know got distracted because of all this all this stuff that we've been working on but so um I think that's it uh oh oh um Oh, I'll just mention here, as long as I'm doing a video, this has taken, obviously we're, you know, it was supposed to be finished in October. Um, now we're November and December are gone. Um, I realize that some of you are not going to be living in the places where you were when you, when you anticipated getting them in October. So if you have changed your address, don't send it to me right now. Um, just as I did with some of the other things, I will either, uh, I will, I will put up an update in the Indiegogo campaign and possibly also write an email to everybody who's contributed, um, and ask just for people to verify their address before I mail anything. Cause I don't want it to go to the wrong place, obviously. So I will be in touch regarding that. So if you're moving and you're worried, Oh, Jason, you know, is <laughs> never going to get me my cards. I will make sure that, that, that they are to the right place. And if you have talked to me already about it, or you've sent me a new address or something like that, please do not assume that I have that information because I have a lot of balls in the air right now and not everything gets put in exactly the right place. So I, you know, when I reach out, then remind me then as well, um, because I, I don't want to, um, to, you know, have the order get uh, mixed up or lost. So talk to you soon.